I've been a resident of Lake Trobe since 1982, and I love shopping here. They have a lot of different variety stores. And then when I start reading about it, I said, oh, let's do that, let's do it. Um, well, I think the festival's awesome. Actually, yesterday during the dedication was, was really cool. We had uh, Senator, uh, we had Kim Ward out, Congressman Tim Murphy, Arnold Palmer uh, represented the town as well. And so they had the unveiling of the uh, historical marker. So it was pretty cool to get to see that. Every day has been about the banana. Um, we've blogged about the banana, we've tweeted about the banana, we've Facebooked about the banana, we've wrote, I can't even tell you how many press releases I've wrote about the banana uh, for the news. Everybody's been asking about the banana, we've been ordering food for the banana. It's, I mean, probably from June to August, every day was banana. Today we're having the street fair outside, um, which there's Dairy Queen out there and there's different uh, vendors and different people from the community selling things and talking about their organization. Uh, we took part in the Yellow Tie um, Gala last night and uh, now today we're here uh, on the street and we're selling um, our Dairy Queen t-shirts with a banana split on the back and a bunch of items from the Dairy Queen including a banana split blizzard. and. Um, all of our pro, uh, profits from today are going to go to the Hope Center and the Art Center. So um, that's kind of my favorite thing about the entire festival is the sense of community. So it's brought a lot of businesses and charitable organizations together. And here at the Art Center, we're having banana pancakes and different banana things in the cafe. Oh, a while. We started making um, our ice cream and novelty items for today uh, well in advance. So we, we had extra help with the Dairy Queen and obviously, you know, employed Curly the Cone here to, <laughs> to come out with us today. So uh, there, there was definitely a lot of planning involved, but a lot of excitement too. I like the dancing part, the entertainment, because I love the jitterbug. Tonight, we're having the sock hop also hosted by the Lake Trobe Art Center. And we're gonna have waitresses going around on roller skates and they're gonna be serving sliders and french fries and we're gonna have a banana split bar again, root beer floats, and it's just a sock hop theme. So we're encouraging everybody to dress up as you would back then. I'm gonna be wearing a skirt that's 75 years old, so that'll be fun. We're dressing up for that this evening. I always did. I worked at a Frosty Freeze when I was 16. So I learned how to make them and I ate them too, and that's probably why you could tell. <laughs> banana splits because how could you not enjoy banana splits? when you vlog about it every day. <laughs> it's just such a traditional ice cream item. So I grew up, uh, my family owning Dairy Queen since I was in preschool actually. So um, it's an item that we see being made all the time and, and, it, and it's a classic. It's pretty cool that it was made in Lake Trope. 